Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on guys? How we doing? Man Antonelli here. Today we're going to look at some cool video on how to throw a sinker. I get a lot of questions about different pitch types. And so let's talk about how to get the ball to break more downward. And so what you're going to see in a second is basically holding it as a two seam grip, but then you're going to tilt the ball a little bit. All right, you're going to really work on staying on top of the ball. And you're going to really be able to get that more downward action instead of kind of that across action that you would on a two seam. All right, so you're going to see how it spins kind of on like this one seam. And it, again, if you stay on top, you're going to get that break downward. So check it out. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, most traditional two seams, guys will either go on the railroad tracks like this, just straight in the middle. And uh, I usually I do that, and then I tilt it just a little bit so I can work off of one seam. So when the ball comes off my hand, it spins on a one seam axis, and that's where you get there. that's where you get your tilt with the sinker. Now the key is to stay on top of the baseball and not get to the side of it because then you get flat run, and it's easier for hitters to track that. Mm -hmm. um, and the ideal sinker has a two plane movement, and that's 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 what I look to do every time I go out. Does it happen every time? No. But uh, majority of the time, that's what I'm looking to create. So you said tilt it. That means yeah. kind of get it going so if across you have a, there, right? Yeah. So yes, yeah, just a slight angle. So that way, when it comes off your finger, you're working on one seam here. Mm -hmm. And as it crosses, you cross that one seam here, one seam. I heard that. Like yeah. And you want that middle finger just kind of touching the outside of the middle finger, touching the seam. Yeah. I mean, it's not. It's nothing crazy. And obviously, everybody's different. So. It could just be straight up for one guy, and the next guy is a little bit more tilted. Right. You know, some guys are way up here and they throw it and they split the same. Mm -hmm. um, but that's just that's how it's worked for me, and I think it's just important to uh, mess with your grip a little bit to find what works best for each individual person. Do you put pressure on any specific finger or in any specific place, or is it just kind no, of grip it evenly I think and let it's, it go? I think it's just just grip it and, and, and trust to keep your fingers on top, and mm -hmm. um, and whenever whenever you throw it, make sure your fingers are on this half of the ball. Mm -hmm. So that way it has pressure on the top half and it moves opposite way. Look at that single axis. Yeah.